Stephanie Reddy with the Star Watch of the day. Steph? Thanks, Mike. For Eastern Michigan, we have Ryan Coleman. To give you an idea of the type of game that she has, in high school, she was often referred to as the Michael Jordan of her league. Ooh. This is the one that we're really proud of. That's when we went to the uh, Class C, who was a runner-up in the States. That's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan got us there. And uh, that was a, a good experience. So she basically kind of uh, put CMA yes. to stay on the map for us. Yes. Yeah. I still have people today that still come and ask me about her. <laughs> like Coach, when did you first see Ryan play and what did you think? Uh, Ryan was a sixth grader. Was at, uh, at the time, she was either at VTOL, VTOL, I believe. Yeah. And, um, and we, we, had seen, we had seen Regina play. So we was recruiting Regina to play AAU. And um, um, Regina's dad says, I got another daughter that can play. And little Ryan came out. And we said, okay, we'll let her play. Even though she was younger, we let her play with Regina. Mm -hmm. I think Regina was like two years older. And, uh, and from that point on, her attitude was she didn't care how old you were, how big you were. I had that thing about just winning. And you could and if she lost, she was mad. She just couldn't understand if you was older or bigger, you know. And that's when you knew you had a player. Mm -hmm. She put us on the map. Um, she just had that uh, she just had that thing that just rallied people around her. You know, the team would rally around her. And like I said, they would they would rebound, they would play defense. Uh, and my wife used to tease me after they graduated. She says, honey, you'll never have another squad like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, even though we have, we have picked up a lot of talent, it's that camaraderie, it's that certain things that a certain team have that, you know, you didn't have to tell them to practice hard. You didn't have to tell any of those things. They took care of those things themselves. Mm -hmm. And I hate to say this, it's not like being mean, but I used to have her crying a lot. Mm -hmm. Because when she first started playing, she loved to give up the ball. <laughs> and you knew it said, Ryan, you know, you're gonna be a scorer. Yeah, it's give up the ball, but you got to be a little bit selfish. while for her to understand that, you know, that, you know, it's, it's going to be on her shoulders. But right from the get-go, I knew we had a superstar. She certainly had the talent and the athleticism. She could run. She could jump. You know, certainly an athlete by, by those standards. But the thing that separates her from other kids is that she isn't an athlete. She's also a basketball player, and she's got skills, and she has a mid-range jumper. Coleman on the run. Stop, pop, and drop it, go. Boy, that's an outside shot. She can take it to the hole. And uh, she certainly can post up as a, as a bigger size guard. And we see them trying to post up Ryan Coleman a little bit, use her athleticism and her strength. And she scores. You know, a lot of people wanted her, too. And, I feel blessed to have had the opportunity to coach such a talent as Ryan. She is by far um, the best player that ever has played here in Eastern Michigan in 30 years. And she's put up banners and she's won championships and she's been uh, first team all league. She's been a huge impact. One thing I've always said about Ryan, I think as a coach, you, you are always going to coach a more talented player, a kid on your team that is certainly better than everybody else. I think as a coach, you're unbelievably blessed when your best player is also one of your best kids. She is the hardest worker on our team, and she leads by example. And I don't think there's any better uh, kind of leader than someone that really does lead by example. 
she's learned to become a little more vocal as she's gotten older and I think that with that just it just came with time but Ryan by far is probably one of the most special players that I've ever coached and I can tell you she could play for anyone in the country and they would feel exactly that same way to watch our young kids look at her and just want to play with Ryan to want to be Ryan is is really um, exciting as a coach to watch because that's truly what it's all about she is a special leader and a special kind of person and I think at the next level what separates the good from the great is what's in their mind and in their heart and Ryan by far uh, set herself above everyone I've ever coached or been around Lace up my kicks to play. Step on the court, crossover, away, picks away. Might take the pick and off the pass, stick the J. Can't stop by, not I. Watch my moves, ballers and fly downs. Ballers on the sidelines, screaming, I got next. Want a chance to try mine, wearing all the grab. Shoes, shirts, hats, and etc. The outside. Nah, they in pro league, the third row, the nosebleeds. They wearing the jersey, not a dollar from a pro I ever take, hesitate, jab, step, drive, never take. I get higher than most, nice in the post, pressure breaks, extra tape, ankles was next to break, little guards like, those get broke up, ones like, those get post up, zones get broke up, I'm so clutch, never choke up, when the fans yell when plays go up. It's like R Y to the, A to the, N to the, reach and she spin on ya, you heard she move like lightning, quite frightening, slashing, slicing, dicing, believe it or not, she's walking on air. Sky's the limit and she's right there. Believe it or not, she's walking on air. Sky's the limit and she's right there. She's here now. The basketball dribbling. Youngest girl out of siblings, out for millions. Her shots in the air is sinking again. Oh, her crossover's killing, no reaching, my friend. Oh, the lob is thrown, she's leaping again. Oh, the contract's printed up, inks in the pen. Her name's on the paper, same as the ink in her skin. Her reflexes, what? sharp like a minister, shot like a Dillinger You can't check Ryan with no signature, none illness her, I know you feel it It's up. like R Y to the, A to the, N to the, reach and she spin on ya You heard she move like lightning, quite frightening, slashing, slicing, dicing It's like R Y to the, A to the, N to the, reach and she spin on ya You heard she move like lightning, quite frightening, slashing, slicing, dicing Oh, dude. Oh, you do. in some states. They get you here, though. You listen to Pac every time you, before you hoop. I listen to Pac all day. The only reason why there's other artists in the car, which is about to be eliminated, is because other people ride with me. All over. When it's all over up here, we locate. <laughs> it's all over. I really start over, but hopefully I'm advancing to that next level. Basketball is always like an imaginary friend to me. If I was mad, and I could. If I was mad, I could talk to basketball. Go play. I never got mad at your imaginary friend. First lady will. Yeah. So who you talk to? Who did you go to then? Same imaginary friend. You just stayed there and fought it out with him. It never leaves. My boy's still with me now. For a lot of the uh, pressures, I feel time to time. I, mean, I 
I do go to it a lot. Sometimes I do hit the gym. The little door we walked out of, coming up the steps, I leave that door cracked open all the time. Go back in there, open night. Won't give me no key. No. So I found another way to get in. It's not breaking the internet. Right. It's just maximizing the opportunity to get back in the gym. Going pro, that's a big step. You got it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a job. Yeah. Yeah, it's my job too. It's all, it's all the business. So. Can you get up and play when you don't want to play? And then perform because someone else wants you to. Because it means more that day to that person than it does to you. What I choose to do. That's what I want to do. And, uh, and I understand it's a business, but it's a business I want to invest in. So I don't feel like it's a lot of pressure going to the league. I know it's, it's, a, it's a big deal. How much did you invest? Invest it all. Would you? Invest it all. Family and friends? And money, you sacrifice all that. That's what it took to get to the next level. It's part of the investment. Is it? Like ride or die. I think I play strictly for the love of the game. It's just something fire that is built up inside of me. Well, what you hate about it? There's no love without hate. I think if, if I was to hate something about the game, I wouldn't have been playing this long. Mm -hmm. There's no love without hate. No. Uh, I ain't never said I hate doing something on a basketball court. Never said that. Never said I hate playing D. Of course I don't hate scoring. I can make another person better while I'm out there. I do that too.